how do they do it how do they do it each time i've been reading a lot of comments that are saying that it's slightly sluggish that it's boring they're taking the social topics too far it's getting way too serious isn't that the point the progression of a series that familiarizes us with characters introduces us uh, with their eccentric personalities and then takes a deep dive into their emotional state isn't that the point are we getting lost because panchayat gave us so many viral small moments of comedy and forgetting that there's an evolution of a series also beyond the viral memeable content that's some food for thought i guess the most beloved series that we really hold dear to our hearts also undergo what is called the three year itch in relationships a time where a sense of boredom or mundanity may set in the possibility is to be surprised may be limited in turn making you feel like the two parties are just dragging it out rather than being truthful to each other this is something that i experienced with one of my favorite guilty pleasures you on netflix where it absolutely invested me with its killer season 2 and absolutely roamed around like a headless chicken with the frustrating season 3 the memories of the first two seasons of panchayat made me believe like tvf can do no wrong So I went in for season 3 with skepticism because the last thing one wants to see is a show and characters that you organically fell in love with go nowhere. But what I can attest to with season 3 is that TVF honestly has a beautiful grasp on the world of Polera and the escapades Abhishek finds himself in. You know, I have been hearing many thoughts regarding this season that state it's a bit of a slog in the middle, it's too serious. Why is it focusing on so many social themes? But I on the contrary believe that this is the beautiful progression of the series. I think in the current era of short form content, we are really seeking for viral meme content. That panchayat gave plenty to us especially in the first season and we in turn equate the series to those iconic moments. A gazab bezati or bino dekh rahe ho don't work in isolation but make sense in the world and storyline introduced to us by TVF. We are forgetting the art of long form storytelling which I think Panchayat does really well which introduced us to Abhishek who found it really tough to assimilate with the ways of the village in some odd manner identified and resonated with the charm of Falera and in turn becomes emotionally invested with the people who he can essentially call family now while the first two seasons were the building blocks for us to get familiar with the world and the characters season 3 almost takes the shape of highlighting several facets of the characters beyond the surface this made me way more emotionally invested in the tale of season 3 and i actually believe other than some minor bumps in its screenplay it turned out to become an exceptionally engaging watch we focus this time on pralad who is still dealing with the loss of his son and abhishek played by jitu who has been transferred because of the conflict that arose with the mla in the final episode of season 2 as the new sachiv is introduced to the village the pradhan and vikas are adamant in making this transition as difficult as possible hoping and praying that abhishek can return as the sachiv as originally intended the conflict that arises with the pradhan and bhushan especially regarding the preferential treatment of the local villagers based on their location and vote bank that influence the election forms the basic core of season 3 how bhushan acts as a menace to the village for his own vested interests as he comes in cahoots with the corrupt mla forms a really interesting concoction of egos at play as the politics gets murkier as the episodes pass by i found it so endearing how abhishek was originally introduced as the rat race obsessed corporate man who detested the idea of being a sachiv in a remote village and now we find him getting updates about each political development it's this oscillating journey that we have been on that really really makes me believe the strength of this series is that we really love these characters and we know them in and out Abhishek wants to be out of the petty politics of Fulera but organically finds himself drawn to the same too Durgesh Kumar as Bhushan is a very central character this season taking the shape of the careful observer much like how you see in Vishal Bhardwaj movies pointing out every lapse that may exist in the system and playing out the role of the frustrated common man who has valid points most of the time but who often in his ambition loses his path something that an innocent soul like Binod has to deal with who was just happy with being assigned a toilet seat the most interesting arc however this season is of Prahlad 
played beautifully by Faisal Malik, a father grieving the loss of his son, lost and mostly inebriated, this psychological battle with oneself that often as a viewer makes you contemplate about the worst outcomes really makes you overwhelmed. This especially gets conveyed in a beautiful subplot of a family wanting to avail of the PM Garib Awas Yojana for a pakka ghar, in which he conveys the emptiness inside him and around him with an elderly lady played beautifully by Abha Sharma, a scene that absolutely broke me and representative of exceptional writing and effective performances by both the leads. The family, like Bond, is present in so many scenes. Seeing the terrible state of Prahlad, the Panchayat WhatsApp group crave for even a glimmer of a smile from him. This is our experience too, feeling horrible seeing the aimless state of Prahlad. And that one moment, a glimmer of happiness, is enough to make us joyous as well. I would have loved if Abha Sharma's Ammaji was a character that was not just used as a subplot and abandoned. The integration worked effectively, but abandoning the same almost felt like it was a part of another story rather than the screenplay of an 8 episode series. In that way, I must say that in season 3, it takes a far more serious approach on several facets, especially political and social, in government schemes, the right of citizens, salaries of government officials, holding people in positions of power accountable, and this adds to the series being beyond the fluff that we can share on Instagram Reels. And it makes me resonate more with the tale told that is not looking for viral content, but progressing the story and the arcs of the characters forward. The dynamic of Vikas with his wife, Rinki and her evasive personality with her future, the constant bickering between Raghubir Yadav and Nina Gupta, the awkward exchanges between Abhishek and Rinki, all of these act as great personal insights with the characters we are already familiar with. Though, I have to be honest, I slightly got frustrated with the meet-cute hesitation between Abhishek and Rinki that almost went nowhere as both of them were constantly hesitant, shy, to take this relationship anywhere. Nina Gupta and Raghubir Yadav and their daily tussles made me chuckle so hard. They reminded me of my parents when they argue and while the shouting match is taking place, Nina Gupta is still doing the household chores while engaging in the argument. I find it so hilarious that the conflict may exist, but the main goal of being in this together never goes away. Raghubir Yadav is tending to the new construction, Nina Gupta is pulling away the dry clothes mid-argument. And it's such a quintessential Indian parent thing that you may be all privy to. Speaking of arguments and the main point of the conflict arises when the MLA wants to use his influence with the politics of Valera. This in turn also makes you conclude that so much of the fighting, so much of the argument is all based on fickle egos getting hurt. The MLA played hilariously by Pankaj Jha is an impulse impulsive, egotistical fool, and in episode 5 titled Shanti Samjhota highlights exactly that, wanting everyone to bow down to his ways, but the Pradhan and his reaction to his antics still makes me laugh out loud, as he was having none of his BS. I will be honest, I would have loved the conclusion to the series versus the hope for another season and what may transpire after this. But honestly, the last episode of this season can be reviewed separately only because it literally took the shape of a portion of Gangs of Vasipur, a comedy of errors that is so hilarious that it made me fall in love with the inventive nature of what the TVF makers are capable of doing. If you told me that the make-believe Raghu, who told me he's just not interested yaar, would make such a beautiful, heartfelt yet mad series, I would be thinking that you're absolutely bonkers. Kudos to Deepak Kumar Mishra for this tale. And I know many are conflicted on how they feel about season 3, but I really felt so deeply connected to the characters, who I genuinely empathize and love now. I just wish we could have got some closure in its conclusion, because it may be tough and slightly impossible to keep on upping the ante and meeting the expectations of a loyal audience. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about Panchayat Season 3. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.